Yakoto, the former minister for agriculture, the man who speaks for him is Dr. Prince Amuzu. Doc, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Thank you and uh, greetings to your viewers and listeners. Number three, does it mean anything? Definitely. You know, number three is uh, the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We take delight in this number because we believe that this number shows that God's hand is upon Honorable Dr. Usifri Akuto's campaign. So you actually believe that the three means something beyond the, just the fact that it is the position on the ballot? It's not just the, the position. It's actually a sign of blessing of God upon the work that you are doing. If all three of the Godhead is with you, then you are in good shape. I see. Now, going by how he fared in the superdelegates, I'm not sure it will come down to the position on the ballot. There's more work that ought to be done. His performance was woeful, wasn't it? Um, what steps are you taking as a campaign to make sure he does better in the upcoming primaries? His performance at the last election, depending on how you look at it, uh, that is why we kept saying that if God has purported that we are part of the five, which we were never counted to be by many posters and many people who have been on the matter, but God himself made it possible that we are part of the five. If you look at the people that were part of that election, the superdelegate, and the kinds of things that happened, the cautions we gave that were put aside and the cautions we gave that were accepted to be part of the guideline, and yet people flouted it in broad daylight. It will tell you that even those that mastered courage and were able to vote for us, they must have been really assisted by God. Because you see, you are talking about a situation where regional authorities or the party flouted all the regulations, including the basic one, secret ballot. Don't show who you voted for. But imagine the height of enthusiasm and the feeling that they needed to please somebody that I work for you, I voted for you. And this is why initially we said, look, can you have all this voting done in one center so that all these unnecessary feeling and drama euphoria will not be necessary? Of course, this is one party and we needed to do it in a manner that the optics will be good for us. And here we are. So we are very happy that we have the opportunity to be part of the 4th November. Why? Because that is the real deal. 4th November is where the people who are going to vote are over 200,000. Most of them are farmers. They are direct beneficiaries of the policy planting for food and jobs, and they relate better with Dr. Usufi Yakuto. And therefore, the fact that we are part is a big thing for us. And we believe that this is our platform, this is our opportunity to show that indeed the party MPP resonates with the vision that Dr. Usufi Yakuto has put forth. And therefore, we are going to make a good show this time around. I see. You seem to have issues with the electoral process of the NPP so far. Two of the candidates, Alan Kojo Chamantin and um, Bwache Jaku, have spoken publicly about difficulties they had with the process. We do not see you associate with any of those. Is it because you made it to the top five so you could not be bothered? You are simply making these comments now because you thought you should make them, but you didn't see the need to join the chorus of uh, Dr. Um, Boache Jaku, not Dr. Boache Jaku and uh, Alan Chemantin? The uh, also Dr. Usu Fiyakuto campaign has always said we are noiseless. We had written a lot. We had spoken a lot at meetings with the Presidential Elections Committee. That is where the matter will be resolved, not in the public space. So if you check those who attend those meetings, they'll tell you the things we say there. Because clearly, we have a party to build, not a party to break. We want to break the aid, not the party. And therefore, we have taken the view that when there is something that bothers us, we'll put it before the committee that has the capacity to address. And as we speak, a lot of the things that we have said and brought up have been picked up again. Because really, after this 4th November, all of us have to come together. Whoever emerges winner, we must all assess that the party breaks the aid, not the person, the party. It means all of us, all 10 aspirants, and all four now have to come together and assist. This is why we always provide that leadership for the call for unity. 
not to do things that will hurt the party, not to say things that will hurt the party. But when we're having a conversation as we are doing, we have a duty to explain that looking at what had happened, ideally everybody else would have gotten zero. Anybody that have voted against the status quo, that person must be applauded because that person is a true Democrat. There was a point that people within, you know, rise up to challenge. People are uh, blatantly overlooking the guidelines and they got beaten for that. People got beaten for that. You are aware. It's, it's public knowledge and we can speak at it, about it. Other than that, what is my business talking about such a matter? But it's already public knowledge, you see. So these are kind of things that I've said that because of that, let's put what has happened behind us. We have forged forward. We have made, we are making new guidelines. We are trying to see how best we can improve on what we have done in the past. And we have the confidence that this system will work because this is MPP. It has to work. Wish you all the best and thank you. Where is Dr. Afri Yakuto today? We are grateful for the opportunity. Dr. Ufri, Ufri, Ufri Yakuto is very well and is in the campaign office as we speak. We are in around Ridge. Uh, he's in, he's in Accra. He's not, he's not out campaigning. There are votes also in Accra. Accra has a very large constituency in terms of votes. So we have a lot of engagement with people and we continue to engage the people. Because as at this, at this, as at this it is now, we are talking about 200,000 people. The strategy about the other one and this one can never be the same. And therefore we are putting together and we are doing a lot of reviews of ways and means of getting our messages across. And you know, today we went for balloting, obviously. Uh, it's a big day and we have to be together to see what is the way forward. That's Very well. Thing. All the best and thank you for speaking to us. We are grateful for the opportunity. That's Dr. Prince Amuzu. He speaks or he's with the Dr. Fri Akoto campaign team. Let's go to the 